Hi guys! Hope you all are safe and healthy. Unfortunately, Kelly is not here with me today for this intro part. Um, we are practicing social distancing. Um, however, just wanted to let you guys know that this is a video that we were able to film, thankfully, the day before social distancing went into effect. So these are all items that we, you know, really loved and fell in love with and started using in the month of February and halfway throughout the month of March. Um, we actually have a group of videos um, that we were pre-filming for because I'm actually supposed to be coming back from spring break with my kids today and Kelly is actually supposed to be going off to spring break uh, with her family in the following week so in preparation for that we filmed a group of videos for you guys and we're gonna be releasing them every Monday. We hope that you guys, you know, appreciate the consistency of being able to see the two of us filming in one location every Monday night at 7 p.m. Um, we are gonna try to put together some videos where we are in two different locations. We'll see how that works. Our first attempt will be this Thursday, so be sure to check out our video coming out this Thursday. We're gonna be doing one on um, shopping your closet. So anyways, we hope Hope that you guys are healthy we hope that you guys are safe please leave comments down below and support one another uh, just during this time um, we always call you guys our mommies makeup and Moscato family and that's really what you guys are for us so Anyways, um, so I hope you enjoy the video and just one little request from me. If you guys happen to have any sort of uh, television series that you guys can recommend, I would truly appreciate it. So anyways, stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy this video. Hi guys! Welcome, if you guys are new here, I'm Christina, this is my best friend Kelly, and today we are going to talk all about our favorite March items that we've fallen in love with. We are so sorry we got so busy with you know videos that we wanted to do for you guys in February. We weren't able to do a February favorite, so some of them we've been using for a couple of mm -hmm. months, um, but definitely still continuing throughout the month of March. Yeah, this is one of my favorite videos to do because who doesn't like to talk about their favorite things? Mm -hmm. And there's a few things that I have been anxiously waiting to share with you guys on this video. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our content. Everything we do is related to fashion, dressing for your body types, hauls, tricks and tips and all that good kind of stuff. So if you love that, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. We make two videos a week every Monday and Thursday. And also guys, follow us over on Instagram as well as Facebook. We are becoming much more active over there and we would love to interact with you guys more. Okay guys, so this first one I have been waiting to share with you guys. If you follow us on Instagram, you have already seen me show this sneaker before and I listed it there for you guys in our Like to Know It app, but that is the Vanessa Sequined Star Sneakers. So if you guys are big sneaker fans, you may have heard of the Golden Goose Sneakers. Those are some designer sneakers. They retail for between four and $500 and these are the perfect dupe. I mean, literally, like all the details are there. They come in six different colors. I chose the silver star. This little scuffing mark here that's actually part of the design, um, it has a little bit in different places. That's kind of the style. They're meant to look a little bit worn. They're like a nice white um, faux leather. They're really comfortable, and these are $85, so not a cheap sneaker. However, when you compare that to you know the designer brand for four to 500, I think it is one hell of a deal. So if you guys are interested in these, we're gonna link them for you below. If you are between sizes, definitely size up. I actually went with my true size eight, and they fit me perfectly. I've actually worn these quite a few times, and I really love them, so definitely check them out. So the product that I've been really loving these past couple of months is this little hand mask by Lay Mini Macaron. And I don't know for you guys, but definitely, you know, sometimes with, you know, harsher, you know, like uh, soaps or if you're having to deal with a lot of papers and just dealing with the colder elements, I find that my hands are always getting so dry, my cuticles, my hands are cracking. Um, and so these are great masks. You can just put them onto your hands, you leave them on for 15 minutes and it just really has helped to just soften my hands, leave them, you know, feeling not greasy, but just 
looking more hydrated and moisturized and it's definitely one of the areas that I know can also show your signs of aging along with like your neck so I really try not to neglect my hands so if you guys are interested and you guys have you know kind of like dry hand issues whether you're up in the Northeast you know and dealing with colder weather or whether like I said you're handling like a lot of paper so it's stripping your hands um, from moisture you guys maybe want to check these out they're super cheap I want to say like five dollars um, so definitely a great one so in the spring and summertime the weather gets hotter and my skin just gets greasier so makeup staying on my face is definitely a big problem for me in those months and you know it just tends to like just soak right in or slide right off so I needed something that was really gonna help me with that and I stumbled on a product I've never heard anyone talk about this product before I've never seen it anywhere on YouTube I stumbled on it because I had a gift certificate that I needed to, to um, spend and I was online I was just kind of going through a website and I stumbled on this Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Primer. And the reason it caught my attention is because it's a primer that says it's specifically for mattifying, um, reducing the size of your pores and blotting, you know, makeup and everything, keeping oils under control. And it also has an SPF of 18 in it. So all of those things are just really appealed to me with my oily skin. So I gave it a try. I was a bit skeptical because I've definitely tried lots of primers before that claim to keep your skin matte and they do nothing for me. But I was really surprised by this one. This is a great product. I mean, I went from really not believing in primers anymore to really being hooked on this one. I use it every morning under my makeup, let it sink in for about a minute or two, and it really keeps my you know lightweight foundations and things that tended to slide off in the past, it really keeps them in place for hours. And I am someone who usually puts my makeup on early in the daytime, you know, usually around maybe like 9 a.m. And I don't even look in a mirror typically, um, unless of course we're, you know, filming or something, but typically I don't even look in a mirror again until 10 o'clock at night when I am washing off my face. So sometimes I will look and I'm really surprised at how well the makeup has held onto my skin and that is because of this. So I will link it for you guys if you have oilier skin. It's actually for combination skin, but definitely really helps control that oil. So since I am half Korean, unfortunately, I did get the Korean eyebrows, which are very thin and very sparse. And usually I would just use some sort of maybe like eyeshadow in order to just kind of like fill it in. Definitely do not like the overly, you know, made up strong, bold um, eyebrow on myself. However, I was able to find this um, eyebrow pencil. It's called Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I love it, really, really love it. And it has like this very like fine tip um, so that you're able to make like hair-like strokes onto your eyebrow. So it looks very natural on it. It lasts, gosh, forever. I wanna say like I've gone a full day and have found over 12 hours and found that there's no smudging um, or, or you know like movement on my eyebrows at all it leaves a very natural kind of look on there so if you guys are looking for a good eyebrow pencil then this is definitely one that I would recommend just to give you guys um, some information the color that I use is the 4.5 so some of you guys might be living in some colder temperatures. Maybe you're not thinking about shorts weather just yet. Here in Florida, we've already broken out our shorts for a while now. And you know, even if you're not ready for shorts yet, you really want to start thinking about them and looking for them because they can be tough to find. But I have found a pair that I absolutely love. And what's the most impressive about these besides how cute they are is the price. So these shorts are by the brand Universal Thread and they are $15. These are a fantastic pair of denim shorts for spring or summer. They're um, high rise midi shorts. So they have a bit of a high rise, but not a super high rise. They have some distressing on them, but I feel like it's pretty, you know, good distressing. It's the right amount of distressing. They are short, but not super short. I will definitely insert some pictures for you guys. I'm five foot three for reference, and I just feel like they're a great pair of denim shorts that you guys are going to love. And at $15 a pair, I picked up two of these. 
So during the spring months, I really love having a much more natural kind of makeup look. And so I was looking for a really good, almost like gloss or something that would have a little bit of tint in it just to give me a little bit of color. And I came across this sample um, from Clinique. It's the Chubby Stick. And this one is actually in the color Mega Melon, but they have I want to say about like eight different color options that you guys can have everything from like a lighter shade of pink to even like a little bit more of a darker berry kind of color so I love this one it's super moisturizing um, it has just a slight little tint to it almost like an opaque you you are definitely not having your regular lip color it gives a little bit of extra to your lip without making it look like you're wearing lipstick so yeah really love it I especially um, like products that you know help to moisturize my lips you know during the winter time my lips get very very dry and so a lot of times you know just wearing a lipstick will increase that problem and so when I'm able to find you know like a product like this one where I can wear it naturally during the springtime while still really hydrating my lips I'm just I'm sold for so if you guys are looking for something like this definitely check out the link in the description box below so another product that I fell in love with during the months of February and March was a new perfume. And I gotta be honest, the first thing that caught my attention was the beautiful packaging. I saw this in the store and I was like, oh, that is so beautiful with the pink and the little silver bow at the top. I just thought it was so pretty, but I really love the scent. This is Miss Dior Rose and Roses and it is um, described as a traditional floral scent. It actually has hints of rose, of course, Italian mandarin, as well as white musk. It's a very soft, feminine scent. I do a couple of squirts all over, and it just has a really fresh, beautiful tint of uh, rose to it. And I just think it's a great scent for springtime. If you're looking for a new spring scent, this is a beautiful one, especially if you like a very like soft, light floral smell. So of course with spring coming, we also have a lot more humidity down here in Florida. And so I prefer to actually wear my hair wavier or curlier more frequently during this time. So I'm always looking for a nice hair product to not leave my hair like super crunchy. And I found this one, it's called Diva Curl Be Leave-In Miracle Curl Plumper. So this is a product that you just put in right after you get out of the shower, you work it through your hair. And the best thing about it is it leaves your hair hydrated. It also helps to increase the volume and the curl bounce within your hair without leaving it with that like overly like moussey, like crispy, crunchy kind of um, kind of hair. So if any of you girls are out there just like me and you've got some wavy hair or curly hair and don't be afraid even if your hair is, you know, not wavy but it's like significantly curly, this is such a good product. In fact, the more wet your hair is when you put it in, the better the, the product works and you don't have to really use a lot. It really does go a long way. So. So I am a makeup junkie, self-admitted, and I have tons of eyeshadow palettes. But when I pick up a palette and I find myself reaching for that same palette time after time after time, I know it's a really good one. So recently I picked up this Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow palette, and this one is in um, the shades of Darling. So this is a beautiful palette. It's got like some pinky rosy shades as well as like some terracotta peachy shades. It's described as like a sunset type of colors, um, bronzes. I kind of think of them as like pinky bronze, um, you know, pinky brown tones, which are my absolute favorites. And I just love this palette, guys. It has some metallic shades as well as matte shades in it. I'm able to do some really nice eye looks with it. It's right up my alley. And it also really feels like very springy and fresh to me. So I like to do, you know, pinky bronzed eyes and everything. It also has the, the lighter shades of metallic for the corners and all of that. I can also rim underneath my eyeliner with a little bit of the terracotta and I just love it. So this palette um, retails for $57. So it's a little bit more on the expensive side. However, if you've ever used Charlotte Tilbury products, you know they're very, very good quality products. So if you're looking for you know a beautiful bronzy pink springy eyeshadow palette i definitely recommend you check this one out her products are awesome so unfortunately we are in the middle of flu season and i found two great products for you guys that's really going to help you guys out so 
My favorite, my favorite one is actually this one. It's Zarbi's Elderberry Immune Support. And this one is actually going to help prevent you from getting sick. Now it has a bunch of good stuff in it. It's got vitamin C, D, um, has zinc in it. It also has elderberry, which if anyone knows elderberry, it's great for boosting your um, immune system. And it comes in these really convenient little um, gummies. So even my kids will take these and not complain. They kind of feel like it's a little uh, treat that they get to have. Um, however, if you guys are unfortunate, you know, like Kelly, she was sick a few weeks ago. Um, a great product for when you are first feeling those cold symptoms come on is to get this Zycam Cold Remedy um, gummy. And these ones also have like some zinc and elderberry um, elements in it. And it's supposed to, you know, help you to be able to shorten your cold. So I know this firsthand. My son ended up getting like the sniffles on Friday night. I heard him, you know, becoming very, very congested. Immediately just kind of started giving him, you know, uh, these gummies every like three to four hours. Within 24 hours, the following night on Saturday, he was better, all better. There was no more signs of him being sick anymore and it's gone. So now it's actually been a couple of weeks since that happened. And for him, his immune system has really helped to just, you know, be boosted with this product and then able to really just kick out whatever cold elements he had with this one. So they're both gummies and they're both, you know, have a lot of good things that you want inside of there to keep you guys healthy. Okay guys, so we hope you enjoy and found some things that you may enjoy during springtime as well and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.